followed up with a 19-point quarter in the fourth. What, what were you guys able to do in the, in the second half to kind of close the gap and make it a game late against Memphis? Uh, shoot, made shots. I mean, we wasn't making nothing in the first half. We was, felt like we was playing solid defense. Felt like we was moving the ball good, too, on offense. I mean, we just – you could tell coming out that their game plan was to um, – kind of give us a three, you know, keep us out of the paint, pack the paint, make us shoot, and uh, kind of mess with us in the first half. Guys wasn't um, knocking down shots, um, and so it was hard for us. And then I think second half we got more comfortable um, and just, yeah, we just started, you know, letting it fly, you know, because I think when a team comes out playing like that, it kind of makes you, you know, second guess and, like, you know, be a little um, just not so sure, you know, of what's a good shot, what's not. Um, so, yeah, I think we just started to make shots and be more aggressive game with uh, more than 30 points. You look so confident this season, and you were today in the All-Star boats. How do you take that incredible new for you? Last part one more time, please. Uh, how do you take that incredible new for you that you were in the All-Star boats? Oh, um, yeah, that that was honestly, you know, pretty pretty crazy, you know, seeing my, my name up there. Um, you know, I can't even lie. Um, you know, maybe put it in perspective a little bit, just um, seeing myself there, like, you know, it's a dream. Uh, and I appreciate, you know, all, all that. So thankful for sure. Paolo, you guys came out um, playing very aggressive, sort of matching their physicality. Obviously, Memphis, they're known for that sort of swagger, that grit and grind. Um, what does it say to your squad, your crew, that you guys were able to sort of match that and even come back from uh, a pretty big deficit? Um, what does that say to your, your guys' ability to um, gel as a team? Yeah, I mean, shoot, we feel like we could play with anybody. You know what I'm saying? We just, you know, first half, like I said, we didn't make many shots. Um, you know, a lot of looks weren't going down, and I think that allowed them to build a, build a lead going into halftime. You know, they were up 20-plus. and um, But, yeah, no, we were able to claw back. I mean, when we're making shots and defending and, you know, playing as a unit, I mean, like I said, we can – I feel like we can beat anybody. We can play with anybody. So I don't think we, you know, I don't think we surprised ourselves in any way, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, we, we, we're confident in what we can do. Paolo, kind of getting, getting back to that, you said, you know, the shots weren't falling in, in the first, first half. Definitely felt like there's a little bit of frustration with that. What was the change of mindset then in, in the third quarter, especially for you to kind of come back, come out there, start hitting some sharp shots, kind of start loosening up that defense to, to help others yeah. uh, get, get going later in the game? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you just got to step in and shoot it with confidence and make shots. I mean, that was kind of our message to each other in the halftime. You know, was they're they're giving us these looks. You know, step in and knock them down, and um, and then when they you know when they commit, you know, get to the rim. And so I think we just did a good job of that. Um, you know, obviously it was it was a little short. You know, we weren't able to get the win, but you know we definitely made a a, a much more of an improvement in the second half. Uh, Franz, a bit of a quiet night for you in the first three quarters, and then the fourth quarter you really got going. What kind of changed for you personally or within the team that kind of allowed you to get on a roll there at the end? Um, I think I passed up a couple shots in the first half, a couple open threes. Um, and I think that, that was kind of obvious as a team. We we didn't feel like they were falling and passed up a couple good ones. But um, I think like Paulo said, I think we found a better groove in the second half. And, um, yeah, once you see the ball go through a couple of times, you get in a rhythm, and obviously we got some stops too, and got some easy ones. You know, Franz, you know, sometimes players have to miss games due due to injury. To to have to sit out a game like you you did the other night, you know, how tough was it watching from home? You know, in, in that kind of scenario, and and how happy were you, were you with the team's performance in that game? In that game, yeah, um, yeah it was really weird. Uh, you know, not being in the building, having having to leave. A couple hours before, um, you know, and you sit on the couch and you just watch the game. You, I feel like you're you know, not doing anything. You, you can't help your teammates. So that was definitely uh, not a not a cool feeling for for me. And uh, that's why I was really happy to be back out there. I thought the team did, did a great job. Obviously, I wasn't shoot around, and thought they did a good job of executing uh, what we what we said we want to do. Guys, this question's for either of you. You've got the longest road trip on your schedule coming up, five games out west. Um, is there anything that you're looking forward to on this trip that you guys want to kind of take that next step as a team? Um, yeah, I would say just, you know, continuing to lock in and just bring it every game. You know what I'm saying? I think yesterday we definitely did. Um, Today, I felt like it was there. You know, we just couldn't get some shots to fall, but I felt like the effort and the, you know, just the intensity was there. 
Um, and that's why we were able to claw back at the end. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it's a long road trip. And we get to be together and bond as a team and, you know, be on the road, you know, us against everybody. So it should be fun. Uh, Franz, coaches talk a lot about this team's resiliency and their their ability to battle back like they did tonight. It is when you're when you're down, you know, twenty or whatever whatever it is. What's what's the conversation like in the huddles? What what is the, what is the thought process like when you're out there to to kind of find find that groove that that maybe you didn't have earlier to to climb back into these games? I mean, really, just take it one possession at a time. You know, you don't, you won't get it back in uh, in one or two two you know quick shots. So. Uh, playing good defense for a couple of minutes in a row, like I said earlier, it gets you some some easy ones. And once that happens, you get into a rhythm, and that's when you're that's when you're able to to make some some bigger runs. So um, whenever that happens, I think I think we played a solid, honestly, offensively. Just some shots didn't fall, and um, you know, not getting discouraged and um, staying confident with that is is very important as well. Paulo Franz, a question for both you guys. First, Paulo, you guys just crossed the 39 game threshold you're about to get halfway through the season just for you personally how have you grown the most and as a team how have you guys grown the most uh I would say I've grown the most um well I think I'm still growing you know uh but I think so far just trying you know it's a lot more games um so just you know staying in the present you know not looking forward not looking in the past whether it was a good or bad game, you know, just always moving on to the next thing, you know, and uh, taking it just one day at a time and just game by game focus. Um, and then as a team, I just think, you know, we're starting to kind of find our find our, our identity and um, just come together. And, you know, I think we've been playing well as a unit. And, uh, you know, I think we see the results and it just is making us, you know, hungrier and, you know, just showing us what we can do and where we can be. So we just got to keep building. First question for you. Similar to this, how have you seen this team grow the most from you know game one to game thirty nine? For you personally, how have you grown the most from your rookie season to this season? Uh, I think as a team, like Paul said, I think we we found kind of we we see what our potential is, where we can uh, where we can go as a group. Um, we see the stuff that we talk about in practice, you know, finally pay off in, in games and putting a lot of good games in a row together. And um, I think that that gives us a lot of hope and confidence for the future. I think for for me uh, individually, um, you know, getting consistently to the line, I think I've gotten a little better better at that, and um, being aggressive throughout the game, making the right plays. Um, that's something I want to continue to to work on. For some of what you've gotten better, at, do you see it as a matter of, I guess, increased opportunity or increase, or I guess, enhancing the ability to get to the line, or you know, to I guess, uh, ability to stay consistent or aggressive. I mean, I got a lot of opportunity last year already. Um, but yeah, without opportunity, you don't get a chance to show and uh, to, to try some stuff and, and work on some stuff. So um, that's very important. And um, you know, it's on every player to, to try to make the most out of it.